Okay, so now we're going to tie-dye our spiral. It's been soaking here in our soda ash water, which is a mixture of one-third cup of soda ash to a gallon of water. We'll squeeze out the excess moisture. And then I'm going to put it on my trusty, rusty little rack here. You can actually do this on your on uh, layers of newspaper. But we have a rack, and I'm going to use it. I'm working with the tie-dye kits, the funky groovy tie-dye kits, which are a three-color kit. We have our yellow, our turquoise, and our magenta. And this is how it comes in the kit. You just add water, shake it up, it's ready to go. So to get a spiral, we did the twist. Now we're going to lay our dies on in a pie wedge shape. Get these little lids off here. Work gloves. Okay, here we go. There's our center. I'm going to start here and just start my first pie wedge. Now it looks like there's a lot of dye on there already, right? But look at this. Oh, I did pretty good actually. You do want to make certain that your um, dye penetrates into your folds so that you have a thorough color saturation. We're going to do our next color. If you get a little of one color into another section's color, don't worry about it. It's all fun. It always turns out good. Now here where we have some um, cross, some cross bleeding from one color to the other, you'll get secondary colors. So we'll have a nice purple in there. A nice orange along here. And again, making certain that I'm getting all my little creases. And then back to the blue. So again, you can see there's nothing um, scientific about this. It's all very much kind of the flow. So this uh, pie wedge is much smaller than the other blue pie wedge. And that's okay. And then we'll come over here and do my yellow. Now we're going to flip it over. Oh, look at all that white. Ooh, yes, that's why we flip it over. So we're going to put another layer of color. And you can kind of use the color from the other side to guide you on this side. And you can see I'm just kind of throwing the color on real quick here, and then I'm going to come back over and into these creases and make certain that I really do have good penetration. There, it's looking pretty good. See, I, I keep a paper towel on hand so I can mop off the excess dye from my fingers before I touch the t-shirt in another place. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. So next step is to put the t-shirt into a bag or wrap it up in some, a plastic wrap so that it can rest for 12 to 24 hours. And this is the period of time which allows the t-shirt to or actually allows the dye to actually fix to the t-shirt. So it's a very important period of time, 12 to 24 hours. You want to make certain the t-shirt stays wet. And it kind of likes the temperature between 
oh, 68 and 80. Likes to be, it doesn't like to be real cold. There we are, 12 hours, 12, 24 hours later, we're going to open this up, rinse it out, and it'll be beautiful.